Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are right now. Today it's a glorious morning in Central uh, Florida. This is your boy, Celine Driver, me, coming at you with another walking and talking video. And yes, today I am actually walking. I'm not sitting in my backyard, which is over there somewhere. I am actually walking. I'm walking in a in a pattern where I end up staying close to my house in case this phone rings and I need it elsewhere. But don't know why I didn't think of it before, but I didn't because I'm old. I don't think of things anymore. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is, uh, believe it or not, I want to talk about something related to college football. Now, I am not a college football channel. I am a multi-subject channel, uh, watches, cars, social issues, political issues, and football. Maybe a little bit of hockey. But what I want to talk about today is um, something that um, my friend Pigskin Pete brought up in one of his recent videos where he was talking about um, ACC scheduling and whether or not uh, the big the big boy teams, the FBS or the Division I teams as I think of them, should drop their FCS or Division I AA opponents and concentrate on you know adding another conference game and making their other non-conference games FBS schools you know, big boy football. Put on your big boy pants every week and play real games instead of cupcakes. Now, I also know the argument about the FCS schools, and they rely on playing an FBS school or two every year to get that big check to fund their athletic programs for the rest of the year. I mean, somebody plays the University of Florida, uh, from the FCS and for the most part they uh, come to Gainesville and get their uh, ass beaten except for of course that uh, one game which we don't like to talk about <laughs> but I acknowledge that it happened uh, we beat the shit out of them <laughs> they go home with a big check 750000 a million dollars sometimes a little more and they take that check and they deposit it in their athletic program and they fund their athletic program for a year or whatever. It's a good arrangement, but I think it needs to end. I think Division I should stop playing Division I AA cupcakes. But Celine, Celine, you say, you say. Uh, what happens to the FCS schools? Don't you care about the FCS schools? Well, the shorter answer is no. <laughs> I don't. I really, I really don't. Fund your own damn athletic departments the way athletic departments fund themselves. <laughs> you know, be creative. But that's not going to be enough, and I know that's not going to be enough. So here's what I'm thinking the FCS should do. And I think they did this during one of the uh, Fauci flu seasons. You remember the Wuhan Red Death? Yeah, it used to be in all the news until it wasn't scaring anybody anymore. And uh, then it disappeared and they locked uh, uh, Flip Flop Fauci into his crypt. They bring him out occasionally to scare people. It's not working anymore, but I, I digress. One of those years, I seem to remember that some of those divisions, some of those uh, conferences, I should say, um, played football in the spring. Good morning, Annette. They played football in the spring. And actually, I think this is a good idea. I think that they should consider the FCS and this may be a controversial idea but I think the FCS should consider all their conferences playing spring football 
Now hear me out on this one. Morning and that. Spring football. Think about this for a minute. The FBS schools are not playing anymore. Okay? All of us college football fans are starved for college football for eight months. From January to August. Starved for college football. The networks are starved for football, which is generally their biggest ratings draw on their programming uh, schedule. I mean, we could argue that baseball is popular. It's not. Basketball is popular. It's not. Hockey is popular. Well, in Canada it is, but in America it really isn't. Football is popular. Football rules the ratings war. So why not have the FCS schools, the Division I AA schools, play football in the spring? This makes perfect sense to me. They don't have much of a fan base outside of probably their school and their specific region. I mean, who is the fans of South Dakota State? Who is the fan of the Ivy League, besides me? <laughs> well, I, I love the Ivy League. It's so much fun to watch what basically is overgrown high school football. Forgive me. You know, they need to develop fan bases. They generally, for the most part, do not have um, TV deals. Uh, they might get on some of the minor, you know, syndicated TV networks or something like that. But don't you think maybe ESPN or um, Fox or NBC or ABC or CBS would love to put some football on their weekend schedule? Or maybe not CBS because they're broadcasting that in the National Bitches Association. But I think the other networks could probably find it in them to... Um, I think CBS does basketball. I don't know anymore. I don't watch that garbage anymore. I haven't since the Bird Magic era ended. But again, I digress. I, I mean, they could develop national followings for some of these schools. They could get TV deals and get TV deal money. The conferences could find new audiences out there in the world again. Um, and, the, the, you know, that could generate a lot of revenue. It may even generate enough revenue to make up for the lost revenue of, of going to an FBS school and getting their asses beaten 99% of the time. I think spring football for a Division One AA, FCS, whatever you want to call it, would be a, a, a boon to that league. And FBS can go on about its business of improving its schedules with improved talent and improved games and they can expand to the nine game conference schedule like everyone's talking about and not hurt the FCS schools if they're concerned about that because the FCS schools will be playing at a different time of year they'll have their own TV deals they'll have their own conference deals and they'll reduce their travel schedule quite a bit I mean Unless, you know, one of those FCS schools having to travel down to Gainesville or down to Athens or down to uh, Tuscaloosa or whatever, that's expensive to move 50, 60, 70 people at a time when you have a very small budget to play with. So I, I, I think that moving FCS football to the spring... You run the schedule from January, yeah, January or February through 
uh, May. It's spring. For the most part, it's still really good weather, except up in the extreme north. Um, or maybe you go February, March, April, May, instead of January through April. You, I mean, you still get spring ball, you still get football. And we who love college football, good morning, and that. We who love college football, we get the opportunity to see college football year round. And the FCS schools would get a chance to build an audience and a reputation and a following that they're not getting right now playing against FBS schools and playing at the same time as FBS schools. I think it's a win-win for both leagues both FBS and FCS. So I think FCS should seriously consider moving their games to the springtime and get out from under the FBS umbrella, branch out on their own, see what they can do with that. That's what I think. I want to know what you think. So comments down below. I'd be very interested in reading them and responding to them. But for now... This is your boy, Celine Driver, me. I'll catch you later.